Hello and welcome to Solution Code. In this video, we'll move ahead with the mini project. And in this video, we will design the view part of the articles. So first of all, let us log in to the system. So once we have logged in, so the dashboard is open. Now here, all the dummy data has been displayed in the dashboard. We will remove that later. So in the last video, we have successfully implemented the add block functionality. Let us test some uh, by adding some dummy data. Let me choose a file. Okay. And let's add the block. So here you can see that the data has been inserted successfully and if I just reload the backend uh, table so it shows that the data has been inserted successfully. So in this video we will be designing the view of this blog. So I have already created a view page and this is uh, the controller name and inside that there is an index method. So we by default the view blog is called so let's open the sublime and inside the blog controller let's check for the index method so here is the index, index method and here you can see that the view blog has been loaded here so here basically we we require a table to display the block properly so in the dashboard itself I have seen that there is some table here so let's copy this table let's copy this table from here copy and let's open the view of this view block and let's paste it here so once I go on the view block section they should show a proper table which is this so the static table has been ready with us now we will be showing the title the description and the image and there would be two buttons for editing and deleting okay so here what we'll do is we'll remove all the other dummy data and we'll try to reload the page so it is giving us something like this i think so we have missed some data or what yes so here we need some data now we can see that the table is looking fine so here instead of hash we will write the serial number then the title then the description then the image then edit and delete so instead of editing we will have a page the block controller so for editing we need to pass the ID so I will make the function call as edit block and inside that what I will do is I will pass the ID of the block so I will say blog underscore ID and whatever I am passing I am just trying to see whether I am getting it properly or not I'll just save this so here we have edit block slash one and for deleting we will have another function called as delete block 
and here also we'll pass the blog ID so instead of edit blog here we will pass the function name as delete blog this is for deleting it So here we need to specify that this is an edit and this is for the delete. Also we can do one thing, we can pass the class as btn info and for the delete we can delete. Sorry, BTN danger. Okay. So okay, so here I have forgotten to pass admin. So admin is required here. Now everything is fine here. If I go to edit, so it is giving me one. So whatever ID I will pass it here. So that ID has been passed to the controller. So that is okay. And in case of delete also, I will get the ID whatever I want to get de deleted. So that is also fine. Now the view, the static view and the working in the uh, is in the working condition and it's working fine. So let's get this data displayed on this view so for that basically we require to have a function which is going to be in the index method so for that we need to write the query writing the query we will just take the query from here I'm sorry order by I think so this is blog ID so here we are going to store and in the query variable and whatever result we are getting that we are going to store it here result dollar query and result underscore array and that data we are going to pass it here in the view so in the view if we try to Check what data we are getting let's see let's go to the view part so here we can see that the data has been displayed let's format the data and check so yes the data has been displayed properly so now we have the data with us and we have the table ready with us so let's get started so here we need to display the data so here I'm going to loop this tr tag for each if dollar result first of all let's check whether the data is there or it's an empty else just we need to echo no records found no records found Just make us 
a small table for displaying that there is no data and if there is data then at that time we'll just loop through each records whatever we are getting I'm just skipping the double quotes. So that's it. Now if I try to reload the page, okay, first of all, let's do one thing. If there is some data, then we will run a for each loop for the result array in the key value pair. And this is going to be the data which is going to be displayed okay so here first of all this is going to be the serial number which is nothing but the counter so let's define a counter which will start from 1 and the counter is going to end one uh, like counter is going to increment it every time the loop has run Okay, and here basically we will just write dollar counter. So this is going to display the incremental operation, and here basically we have the title. So here we'll pass the block title. Then the second thing is blog description then we have the image attribute so for the image attribute we require image src right and then we will also define the class Also, we will give some width by default. We'll give it like 100 width. So, here we need to have our image URL. So, here is the URL, and here we will pass the base URL, base underscore URL. Let's try to reload it first of all let's comment these things and try to reload this so it is saying that there is an undefined variable variable on line number 45 let's check on line number 45 okay so uh, we have removed it so you can see that the view is properly visible here this image is not visible because there is no image found other images are displayed properly so i hope this video was helpful guys now you understand how to make a view from the database tables it's very simple you can either do this query inside the controller or either you can make a model and move this query and pass the result from model Okay, so hope I hope that uh, this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any doubt. Thank you.